Are you in the market for a new motorcycle? Well, let me tell you what, brother. This is the time to buy. Let's roll that intro and let's get to finding out why winter time is the best time to buy a bike. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Chopper Fit Garage. My name's Brett. I don't know who that other guy was, but <laughs> he was pretty cool in my book. But seriously guys, for anyone who is looking to buy their first motorcycle, this might be useful information to you. Everyone else who has already bought a motorcycle, they've probably already been through this and they already know the tricks of the trade. So I figured today I would just kind of put together a quick little five tip video for buying a motorcycle in the off season. Now, what do I mean by off season off season is just simply the time where no one is riding their motorcycle or at least not nearly as many people there's salt on the ground there's snow it's rainy it's cold all the excuses of the world but we're not riding so why is this the best time to buy a motorcycle well, let's get into it uh, the very first reason is this is the time where people gave riding a chance and decided it was not for them these are the riders who maybe went through the MSF course, bought themselves a motorcycle, and then realized it's not for them. Well, guess what they're looking to do? They're looking to get out of their $6,000, $7,000 hole that they put themselves into and try to recoup some of those losses. Now, if they're realistic, they'll know that they're not going to get back probably everything that they bought because they probably bought it in peak riding season, which means they overpay for their motorcycle. So this is where you need to look at all your sources. You need to look at Instagram, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, everywhere that has a for sale, you need to be exploring. I always like to explore the private parties because you can usually get a little bit better deal from them than you can from the dealer. All right, now speaking of dealers, if you are the type who does want to go out and buy a brand new Harley Davidson or whatever motorcycle you may ride, this might be the time of year to try and wiggle a deal because guess what? As I'm filming this right now, Harley Davidson is launching their 2021s, which means if you were to go into your dealership and they have any 2020s left, they may be willing to make a deal with you. My dealerships locally probably aren't because they've been pretty low on inventory. So they're, they're itching to get these 2021s in. But if you have a dealer that's overstocked, this is the time to go ahead and try and strike a deal. Not only can you get money off the MSRP, you can work into some other negotiating tactics such as maybe trying to get 0% or another low APR financing rate. Again, I don't really suggest buying a brand new motorcycle like this for a brand new buyer, but you know, maybe you didn't know this tip and now it's time for you to go explore this option. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna say is to shop around though and be patient. You don't need to jump at the very first opportunity that arises. Now I'm not saying don't because that could be the deal of the century and you don't want to kick yourself on, but keep in mind, winter is a long season. Around here, probably about four or five months is non-riding season and six to seven of it is actual riding season. You don't have to splurge on the first one you see that might be a good enough deal because guess what? You can go ahead and buy that motorcycle, but chances are, by the time you get it home, you're going to have to park it and you're not going to have any fun with it until the riding season comes up again. Now, maybe you could, you know, maybe if you live in the southern states, you really don't have an off season. But for us northerners, we definitely do. Now, one thing to keep in mind, though, is there is going to be some risk involved when purchasing a motorcycle, especially if you're buying a used motorcycle from a private party. Some people are really trying to unload or get rid of their motorcycles and they would generally throw these up for very, very cheap prices. So if you see a deal that's too good to be true, chances are it is. But that's where getting a motorcycle history from the previous owner is key. So I would never buy a used motorcycle from someone that was not able to provide me a full service history or if I, they weren't able to provide a full service history, I would make them pay for a full inspection of the motorcycle to make sure everything is good to go with it. The worst thing you'd want to do is go find that 2009 Dyna, pay $2,000 for it, scream to everyone, I got the best deal in the world, only for it to be a dud. Now, actually, if you find a $2,000 Dyna, it's probably a good deal, even if it is busted and everything, because these parts are a dime a dozen, you can re 
build it. But again, I don't recommend that for your first purchase. Uh, but again, make sure everything that you are looking into is legit. Um, take a friend with you if you're gonna go private. I, I can't recommend that enough because one, you might not know how to ride a motorcycle and if their dealer or third party is allowing you to test ride it, maybe your friend does know how to ride and he could test ride it for you. Uh, my friend Woody test rode my bike for me uh, when I got mine because I bought mine in off season, took a friend to a private party dealer who was an independent dealer. It wasn't like a motorcycle dealer and I was able to strike up a great deal. I had paperwork, I got everything I needed and it's been great for the last four years. So again, I just wanna stress everything to be patient when it comes to finding this motorcycle that you're looking for. Know what you want when you go looking, know what to look for, get on the forums, get on Instagram, get on Facebook, find what's wrong with the motorcycles in general to begin with. What causes the oil to leak? Is, the, the, is an alloy better than a spoke rim? Are T-bars and everything a trend that's going away? No, you don't need to worry about that, that's personal. But um, seriously though, just be patient with everything. You don't have to rush this process and I highly recommend you don't. Uh, so go ahead and post your tips for buying in the off season below. I'd be glad to hear them and possibly include these into another video as well. Uh, with that being said though, my name again is Brett. This is the Chopper Fett Studios garage, whatever you want to call it. And I will catch you on the next dark side as this is the way. Chopper Fett out. See ya.